Hey y'all, Reshamet here from IBM Engineering. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to create a collection of artifacts. We're currently on our project dashboard, and what we need to do is go up to the top left-hand corner and click on Artifacts. Finally, navigate over to the Collections tab, and click on the big blue button that says Create. Click on Collection, and for this example, we will put in the name for this artifact that is going to be a collection, and I'm just going to put collection. We're going to leave the artifact type as a collection, but if you want to change it to something else, you can click on more and select something else. The artifact format is automatically pre-selected as collection, and underneath templates, there are none, so we don't need to add any of that stuff. The folder that I want this going into is I want it going into the main folder that is Doors Demo Next Requirements. If you want to change the folder, all you need to do is click on Browse. And this will allow you to select which folder that you want to import it into. And if I want to add any tags, I could add them here. To show you all how to create a tag, I will click on New Tag in the top right hand corner and I will put on Example here. And then for the tag description, I will do Example Tag. I want this tag to be personal, but then I want to create another tag that I want to be shared with the team. So I'll just do example team, and the description will be a tag for the team. And I'm going to click on shared. Then we'll click OK. One thing that I want you all to note here is that it's keeping the same color scheme as the views panel. When it's green, that means that's personal, so only you can access it. And when it's blue, that means everyone who is on the project is able to access that. Finally, we'll click OK at the bottom here. It's up to you if you want to open the artifact or not. By default, this box is checked. And I will click on OK once I'm happy with everything on this screen. It'll take just one second for it to create. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add Existing Artifacts. If you wanted to create new artifacts in this collection, you could certainly do that as well. But since I already have artifacts populated inside the system, I'm just going to add a few. So I'm going to add my statement of work, and then hop over to Liquid System Design and add a few of these ones. Finally, I'll click on Add and Close. Now we can see that all of our collections are here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Save in the top right hand corner, then I'll click Done. Now hopping back to Artifacts, we can see that the collection that we just created is available right here, and when we mouse over that, we have a rich hover. Clicking inside this shows us the three artifacts that we just added here. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can find me at Brett Charmette.